blown out smoky winged look with a glossy red lip and I've never really done a glossy red lip before and I really hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth right now because that would be really annoying. I really hope that you enjoy this makeup look and if you have any sort of requests or anything like that for further makeup tutorials then please let me know as I'd love to get filming some more makeup tutorials for you. So yeah if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look then please carry on watching. For my transition shade I'm just going to be taking this shade from my Morphe 35C palette and I'm just going to be working that into and slightly above my crease. I thought I'd film in natural lighting again today as the weather's really nice so it's nice and bright. Okay then I'm just going to be taking the shade Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. I'm taking that on a Zoeva 224 defined crease brush. And I'm just going to be dotting this down into my outer crease, just softly blending that in. Then taking my Morphe M330 and I'm just going over that to blend it. And then just taking the shade Mocha by Makeup Geek as well. I'm just applying that where we applied Cocoa Bear. I'm just gradually building up the colours really. I'm getting this outer crease very sort of deep and dark. Going back in again to blend that. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Hot Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Again, I'm just working that into that outer crease. Now for the liquid eyeliner. It doesn't matter if your wing doesn't turn out perfect because we're going to be sort of overlapping the wing anyway with some black eyeshadow. Okay, then what I'm going to be doing is taking the shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek, which is a matte black eyeshadow. And I'm just taking my Morphe M507. And I'm literally just going to be flicking that eyeshadow into that liner very really delicately because I don't want to like mess this up. So I'm sort of just blending it into that eyeliner or sort of smudging it in. And also just packing some into that outer crease as well. Pulling some down towards the liner and my lid. Taking my blending brush and just going over that. And you just want to build that up to the intensity that you want it to be. So just keep reapplying and blending it. I'm just taking more of Hot Chocolate and Mocha from Makeup Geek and Anastasia Beverly Hills to just blend that black out a bit more. I'm just going back in with my fluffy brush. Then I'm just taking some of Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and just sort of blending that into my inner sort of crease. I'm just blending that into that black just to help blend everything together so it doesn't look so cray cray. I'm taking that on a MAC 217 blending brush. So for my lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking the shade Mocha by Makeup Geek and running that underneath my lower lashes. I'm just taking that on a Morphe M506. I'm then just mixing a little bit of Cocoa Bear with that as well. Then to lighten that up a bit, I'm just taking a little bit of Creme Brulee also by Makeup Geek. I'm just running that on top of both shadows. Then I'm just taking a little bit of Corrupt and just sort of taking that underneath and sort of meeting it with that wing. For my inner corner and for my brow bone, I'm just going to be taking my matte white eyeshadow by Kiko, and I'm just going to be applying that to the brow bone and to my inner corner. I'm going to be fixing this eyeliner as well, because for some reason it's cracked. So if you saw my last tutorial, you'll see that I picked up the Urban Decay Highlighter in Sin. I'm going to be taking my Benefit What's Up Stick Highlighter and I'm just going to be applying that onto my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, and then going over that with the powder highlighter from Urban Decay. And the reason I skip through my skin is because I sort of just do the same thing all the time and I feel like it'd be really boring just to sort of watch that. But I just include like what highlighter I'm using because I don't know, everyone seems to be like highlighter crazy at the moment. So it sort of just seems right to sort of just add what highlighter and blush I'm using. And bronzer. Everyone always seems like really crazy on like bronzing the skin. Well, I am anyway. I really wanted to pick up the new Urban Decay bronzer, but I wasn't really that impressed by it. I don't know if I'm the only one thought that but I don't know I swatched it on my hands and it wasn't that like amazing as I thought it would be just taking my Urban Decay one I'm using it on this I'm applying it on this Real Techniques setting brush but I think I'm just going to use my elf blush brush instead as it packs more on as it's bigger and it's a lot more like fluffier as well Oh, 
just contouring my nose to add a little bit of definition to the sort of centre part of my face. And I always blend out my nose contour with my powder brush to tone it down a bit. Please do remember that on camera most of the time my makeup looks a lot more sort of harsh than it does in person because obviously it's like picking up every single thing on my face. Um, so yeah. Then I'm just bronzing the skin with my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 30M. Then I'm just going over that with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Sun Power. sort of focus that around like my hairline and around like the backs of my cheekbones if that makes any sense and sort of a bit down my neck and under my chin a bit on my ears i think i'm just going to contour a bit today as well i haven't contoured in like ages i'm just taking a mixture of all three darker bronzer shades from the anastasia beverly hills contour kit this is the powder one Just cutting that cheekbone, tiny bit under my chin, under my lip. Taking a bit of the banana shade and I'm just going to take that underneath where we just contoured. For blusher I'm just taking my Clinique Cheek Pop in Melon Pop. Okay guys, please do ignore my ears and my hair. I'm going to be filming a hair tutorial in a second. So yeah, that's why my hair's pulled off my face like this in a headband. So for the lips, I'm going to go for something a bit different. I'm going to be applying a red lip. And I'd never normally do that with like something like this dramatic, but I just wanted to do it. I'm going to be applying the Primark Red Lip Pencil. This is in doesn't even actually say anything. No, it doesn't actually say anything, but I'm just guessing it's the red one. I don't know. I'm just going to be applying that. And obviously you could keep it nude, like how I have it now. But I just wanted to do something different. Something different. I say that all the time. What I have on my lips right now is some of the Soap and Glory... I'll get it in a minute. The, uh, the like, lip plumper thing. Okay, then I'm just going in with a little bit of Max Relentlessly Red Lipstick. Okay, and then I'm just going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Socialite. Socialite. On top. I've never actually worn this colour before. But her glosses are literally like my favourite. So, like if you want a lip gloss that's pigmented with colour, get an Anastasia Beverly Hills one. You won't regret it. Just going to tidy up around my lips with a bit of foundation or concealer. I think a bit, bit too much concealer on the back of my hand. So guys, that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I really hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth right now. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more upcoming videos from me and I'll see you in my next one. So take care, bye!